Misconception number one that we will address this evening is that of Allah being a pagan God. The common uh, information or, or uh, uh, message that is preached among the missionaries and the evangelists against, Christi against Islam is that these Muslims believe in their, you know, their Allah is their own God. It's something that is particular for the Muslims as if it's not the creator of the heavens and the earth. But if anyone, and we challenge them in a very nice and gentle way, to go pick up the Bible in Arabic. Get the Arabic version of the Bible. You can find it in the Middle East, in Egypt. In fact, any Arab country, you will find the Bible there in Arabic. And then open the Bible and read the first chapter, Genesis. And the first ayah, the first verse is, فِي الْبَدْئِ خَلَقَ اللَّهُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ It says in the Bible, in the beginning, Allah created the heavens and the earth. So if Allah was this special God for Muslims, what is, what is that name doing in your Bible? And why did you not use some other name? Because there isn't. That is a, that's the Arabic equivalent to the problematic term God. Because in English you have God, capital G, that is the God. And you have God, small g, which is a false God. And then you have, uh, uh, you know, then you have the plurality of these words, the plural and the feminine. So God, gods, goddess, and the list goes on. Now, the Arabic term versus God and gods, capital and small letter, lowercase and uppercase, does not have any of these problems because first in Arabic, we don't have an upper lowercase. We don't have a capital letter, small letter, it's one thing. And so the only term befitting to Allah is Allah because it means al ilah al ilah the God. So that is the concept of the capital G. However, the, the term itself is free from gender, is free from gender and free from plurality, which actually befits the, 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 the qualities of Allah. So just like Allah does not have a gender and he's not plural, the name itself follows the one it is describing. That's a miracle in the name itself. Now they can work hard in English trying to figure that out, but it's not going to work. So the very claim that, well, because, you know, we call him Allah, it means it's a special God for Muslim, that means that the French people have their own God called Dieu, and the Spanish have their own God called Dios. And then you, so the idea that the name indicates difference in essence is non-sen-siko. Furthermore, in Hebrew, the term for ilah is El, and the plural is Elohim. Now, which one sounds closer? God, Allah, or Elohim, Allah? Only him, Elohim. So Jesus wasn't speaking English, FYI. And as one of the du'as said, if someone called Jesus during time, hey Jesus, he wouldn't turn. He wouldn't turn, who's Jesus? That's an English name, that's an English name. The J sound, in, in Spanish, they don't even pronounce the J. They say, Jesus. He, Jesus. Even though it's written with a J. So here we go into issues that, yani, the issues of language. Claiming this against Islam is, is, is nonsensical because even in Hebrew, the closest term to Allah is the Hebrew language, which is the sister language to Arabic, whereas English is in its own world. So we say to them, Ya Jama'at al Khair, or Jama'at al Khair, the Allah is my our Lord and your Lord, the creator of the heavens and the earth, none but him. None but him. The term Allah is the Arabic name, the proper noun for this creator, and among all the names in all the languages, it is the most befitting, the most accurate, and the most unique. So that's why even the Christians among Arabs. And among the Jews, uh -huh, the Arabs among the Christians and the Jews, they still use the name. They didn't think it was not befitting and go fetching for another one. Even uh, one of, you know, you find one of the most wicked Christian artists, she'll be a half-naked lady singing on stage. This is famous in the Middle East. They bring this you know, weird lady, and then after she's done with her performance, they will say, so, you know, how was the performance? How did you feel? She say, Alhamdulillah. So she's still praising Allah, supposedly. Praising Allah for her performing half-naked before many people. 
So they, of course there's no veneration for Allah, but the term is still being used. You can find it on TV, but you don't need a TV. So there's no really, there's no argument there. Okay, so anyone who claims that Allah is something special for the Muslims, please stop lying. Because we're telling you in your face, it is not. Allah is the creator of the heavens and the earth. And he is the one who sent Adam and, Mo and Noah and Abraham and Moses and all these messengers. So, so you know, you have to stick to the facts.